Greetings, this is Eroro Jumbo. In this tutorial, dictionaries will be used for array functionality in Python. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. Arrays are indexed as list in row and columns. Dictionaries are ordered, changeable, and do not allow duplicate members. Ojumboshop.com learning Python course web ID can be used for this tutorial. Ojumboshop.com learning Python course inspired this tutorial. Python can be compiled from source. Python can be installed from download binaries. You can use the web ID that includes Python. Let's begin. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create a variable to hold the content or the values. So dictionaries use the curly braces. It's uh, also, it needs to be a key value pair, meaning this is the key and this is the value. And do one more. Because this is a integer or a number, it doesn't need to be quoted. So we'll print this to make sure everything is okay. And that's fine, it's okay. All right, so next we can print, we can use one of the built-in functions to find how many items are in the dictionary. So we expect there to be three. Oh, spelled this wrong. Pick up truck. And there's three because it's brand, the model, and the year. If we just want one of them, for example, we want the model. So this one will <coughs> item by key name. Okay, so we want to adjust the model, which is F series. And we can also get all the keys. And you see the D key is a brand, model, and the year. And we can also d get the values. So the values are Ford F series and nineteen eighty four. We can also we can also get all the items as a tuple.
and you can see here we got the brand Ford model F3 year 1984 next we're going to change one of the values uh, so for example we can say we can change the year Remember, before the year was 1984. Now I've changed it to 2024. As you can see, it's been changed to 2024. We can also modify an item by update. And you can see the year is now 2000. And just to show you that we can also change or add, we can also add an item. So we're going to add the color. So we've added an item. And you can see we've added the color. We can then obviously change that color. By using update. Just like before. make it silver so this will add or modify as you can see now it's silver then you can also pop pop an item So for example, if I want to pop the model, as you can see here, the model is gone. Next, we're going to remove an item also by using pop. For example, if we want to get rid of the color, You see the color is gone. Only have the brand and the year. If you want to remove all items, you can just simply go pick up track dot clear.
you see it's gone I'm going to comment these guys out here because I want to me I want to I want to copy And you see, it's a copy. You can also do something like this. So that's two ways you can copy and you see it's an, another copy as well. You can find the full article at jumbo.com slash python hyphen array hyphen dictionary. As you can see here I have all the common dictionary functions. The code snippet is here for you. Screenshots of NetBeans IDE and here, here we go again and this is the video watching right now. As I was saying before, Python is licensed under the Python Software Foundation, which is open source. It allows commercial use, modification, distribution, and allows making derivatives proprietary. I do have a learning Python course at ojumboshop.com. More on that later. There's also a learning PHP course online, also at ojumboshop.com. If you prefer ebooks, I do have the learning Python programming ebook. It's available on uh, Amazon, same with PHP, also available, learning PHP is available on Amazon for your readers. If you prefer one-on-one -on -one tutorials, that's available at ojumboservices.com, come to that soon. All the references are here, They're also in the links in the description, learning Python course, learning PHP course, the learning Python ebook, learning PHP ebook under jervices.com for custom websites, applications, and tutorials. So if we go to the learning Python course, Python is very popular for AI, machine language, robotics, scripting, and much more. And once you, you can use the promo code SCHOOL to get 20% off until the end of 2024. Once you get this course, you simply log in. You have code snippets, and you have the web IDE. And you can also compile right on the web. You don't need an external Python or text editor. And that goes the same for PHP as well. PHP is very popular for uh, uh, web design, uh, front end and back end. And also, you can also use it for scripting and making um, uh, web apps. Same, it comes with uh, the instructions. You just follow the sample code. This is a web IDE and you can compile and see the code so you don't need to install PHP or have a text editor or an IDE as well and when you go to Amazon you simply search for Edward or Jumbo if you don't click the links I'll be the first one to show up just click my name and then here are the two ebooks there is the learning Python programming ebook it's a beginner's guide if you have Kindle Unlimited it's free and then there's also learning PHP programming ebook that's available for your Kindle or any other reader and that's the same here and finally for jumboservices.com we we'll start at the bottom here if you want individual uh, tutorial sessions for office software or if you want to learn how to program it's all done online and live online if you prefer somebody to create an application for you whether it's for iPhone, Mac OS, Windows, Google Android, Linux or any other major platform you can do that in all different languages Java, Python, PHP, HTML5, JavaScript, uh, C, C++, Rust, all of that 
all those languages are also available if you want to learn one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And finally, if you have a website, maybe you're trying to migrate or you have database issues or you've been hacked or if you want to implement third-party uh, logistics, shipping, payment systems, I can help you with that. Or it could be simply maybe you want uh, PCI compliance, I can consult you on that as well. So what you can do is you simply, if you're in North America, you call this toll-free number or you can call the direct number from anywhere around the world. Or you can also go to the contact page in your information and get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you.